So this video is going to show you how to add lettering to your skateboard design. So here are some lettering examples that I've tried out using my initials, placing them in different ways. The one that I like the most, I have used a black felt tip pen to outline it. And I've done that deliberately because I'm going to import this into Sketchbook. So here we've got Sketchbook. I already have my skateboard design in Sketchbook app and I'm happy with the design. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on the lettering. Remember to always add another layer of paper to then import your piece of lettering design onto a second layer. You don't want to be adding your lettering design straight or directly on top of the same layer as your skateboard design. So a second bit of paper with your initials on. So my initials are really big here. I am then going to make them smaller. So if you hit on the waffle and hit on the transform button and that allows me to change the size of the um, lettering. I've pressed the tick because I'm happy with that. Now what I want to do though is I want to click on my layer of paper at the side here and then move the opacity to the slider bar so that the lettering becomes more transparent again and I can actually see where it is with my um, design underneath. So that's a close-up of what the transform button looks like so this is really helpful to use this throughout this process so it allows me to change the size move it up and down and get it in the placement that i want to be able to put it on for making my skateboards look really cool now what i want to do is i want to select the transparency tool so i'm just selecting it here going in via the color wheel so the grid means it's transparent I'm now going to go to the waffle and hit on the fill bucket and I'm going to pour that transparency onto the white background. I've just tapped it and it's disappeared now so you can see the skateboard design fully and if I tap it on any of these sections what it does is it then creates a transparency across anything that it touches. So the B is transparent now and now so too is the S. Then remember to go back to the opacity tool, so make sure that you're still on the correct layer. So I'm just going to check which layer I'm on. Yep, the blue box highlights that I'm on my initials. Slide the opacity tool along and now that SB really stands out because it's bringing the black back to the foreground. Now you can play around with the colour, so you can go back to the colour wheel and you can use the fill tool but change it from transparency to a colour. Now this little dipper here, I like to use this. This will pick up any colour that it lands on. So you can see it changing as I move it around. I'm going to pick a hot colour because I think a hot colour will work well as a contrast against the blue background in the lettering. I'm going to go back to the fill tool and I'm going to tap on an area of my lettering. There's the colour there that I've selected the pink. I'm just checking that. So wherever I tap now using the fill tool, will, it will turn pink and it should stay within the lines of the black. If I tap on the black line, it will turn the black line pink. So anything that I tap on will go and fill itself into this pink colour. Okay, so I'm now hitting the back button just to go back so you can see it with or without. Play about with this. Consider different colours until you get a colour option that you really like. I suggest doing two um, examples of colour and then you will choose the favourite out of both of those to take forward into your skateboard design. Remember to save your work so you can save it to the app going to the top left and pressing the save button but you can also share it so if you share it and then it asks you where you want to copy it to and I copy it to my camera roll and that way it's safe.